Hey everybody, welcome to Toys TV. Toys TV Chinglish time. Ch welcome. Ch Chinglish. Chinglish, Chinglish time. So, welcome, yeah. Okay, if you don't understand what we're talking about. It's normal. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> That's nothing I can do. So what we have here today, it's the Iron Man Mark IV uh, yeah. in die cast with the suit up gantry. So basically the gantry is exactly the same thing as the last time, right? It seems the color is different. Yeah, the paint job is different, yeah. but everything else is exactly the same as so the last release. People you, uh, who have bought it before, you know what you're expecting. Uh, uh -huh. There will be no surprises. Okay, I, th I think they told me that the last one, uh, that the, the platform is flippable. Like one side is with the, with the lines and squares and the other side is ah, gray. Ah, okay. So this one is and uh, this one doesn't. simplified. Okay. The weathering is yeah. nicer maybe. When was this one released? The, um, the last one. The last one. The last one uh, supposedly is 2010, but I'm not sure. It, I will just check on the website. 2010? It says 2010, yeah. before I, three. I yeah. was just a child, so I can't remember <laughs> much. Were, you were born already? <laughs> no, not yet, actually. <laughs> but um, you know, even back then, I mean, all, the, all, all these mechanical arms, they are almost fully articulated, mm. um, even to the, the finest details. Uh, you can play with it, but but you have to be careful, because the joints here is quite thin, and I afraid mm. that if you you know you, you might break it. Yeah, yeah, you might break it. So it's you 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 need to know where to hold. Mm. Uh, put your fingers closer to the okay. articulations when you so different when you play with it. Yeah, different pressure points. Yeah, you have to. Oh, uh, oh I, okay. So this thing can move back and forth. So here, there are all this. I like the I, I like the the soft materials they use uh, uh, the, for the, the cables. cables. Yeah, because usually when you like play with uh, models, uh, like plastic models, mm -hmm. when whenever you do, it, they give you cables like this. Mm -hmm. The materials are always too hard, too tough. Mm. And this one is very soft. They don't, they won't. Um, bother you when you play with it. Okay. So it's quite. It nice. looks more realistic too. Yeah. Yeah. So all these are articulated. Okay. So the back one also. Also. It's also movable. Yeah. Okay. Try. Even here. Even all this, you know. This is the part where mm. you're supposed to hold the helmet. But does it really work? Can you? Can you? Yeah, really you have to be very out? delicate. Very delicate. Okay. Yeah, very careful. But. Uh, so all this. And are, these two arms are, the front and the back. They look pretty much the same, right? Yeah, actually, this arm it's and this arm. two times the same thing. Yeah, the front the and the back thing. and the left and right, they, this are a, a pair of same okay. thing. So the back also has the uh, the magnet. Yeah. So in case you make a mistake and you put this one in the front, that still, it still works, right? Yeah. Okay. But this part, does it have any functions? I don't it think so. It doesn't grab anything, Yeah, right? it's just okay. for decoration. It's just for show, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so when you open the box, it's like this, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's try to recreate a scene from the movie <laughs> and open this up and then put all his arms around it. So what was the first thing to do? Is it open, open this uh, one? These two okay. parts, right? Okay, so this one like this and then we... Okay. Ah! So this one is easy. So that's a switch. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then you have a whole bunch of arms. This. This is a two man job. Okay. Good idea. Okay. So the pegs are, are very tight. So we don't have to push it all the way in. Right, just enough to hold it on the back. And it's done. And all the joints are pretty much, all of them are movable. Yeah. So there's many things you can play with. Yeah. A couple metal piece over here. So it's magnetic and you can put it on like this. 
I think that's the only piece you could actually yeah. take out from Iron Man and then put it on the gantry. For some of the Iron Man, you could take off the mask and there's yeah, uh, Tony's face inside, but this one doesn't have that. I don't know how they decide when they can when when they give you the the face in the helmet and when they don't give you the mm. is it just budget or is it something to do with the copyright? I've been told that maybe sometimes uh, because of it, the copyright, but it I don't, could I'm not be. sure. Yeah. If you see that in the movie, then they will probably let you do it. If it's not in the movie, then you're making some stuff up. Right? Mm. Yeah. The blue light is turned on. Uh, so actually the lights are on, but because here yeah. we have all the, the lights. The chest light is on, and then the and helmet light is also yeah. on. What else can be turned on? The uh, the fist, of course. The palm. The forearm, yeah. The lights is actually being turned on. This is on, but it's not light enough because yesterday they were playing <laughs> with this for a long time, Ooh. and it seems like the power has dropped. Yeah, it's kind of bright in this room, so you cannot really see it. I think if you turn off all the lights, you can see the the light is a on. little bit, but a mainly, little bit, yeah. But it's, mainly it's yeah. because it it goes out uh, very fast. Like if, if you play with it, yeah, the, a the few power hours. got drained in in a very short time. So maybe it's the battery that's very small to begin with. Yeah. So if you turn it on for some period of time, it's gonna be like this. But the chest. The chest piece, you can see the light is still pretty bright. Yeah, I think it's because the um, uh, the, the transparent plastic is thinner mm. at this part. And you can see the, the okay. light bulb more directly. Okay. And here, through the palm, you, there's too, much, too many layers. Okay. I think. But do they, do they use the same battery? No, 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 no. no, no. The, battery the is chest on the... one is bigger, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's in the body. Also, and... the one in the helmet, the, the battery is bigger, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this yeah. one is smaller. Okay. So it's always like this, like the, like the lightsaber from the Star Wars series. Yeah. It's also not bright enough. Uh, like one tip, it's <laughs> it's a lot dimmer, right? So you know, it's just it's just the engineering. I don't think they have the technology right now to make something that just glows. For the palm and and the lightsaber. So. Or oh, there's uh, turbulence in the force. You play with this before, right? No. Yeah. So um. This pretty much what you can expect. Yeah, right? Pretty much what you yeah. can expect from uh, action figure. I think you can play with it quite. But I I am a rough player, so so okay. I I'm not being a. I never be nice with my figures. Especially this one is not yours. Exactly. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> this, this is a ball joint. This is a ball joint. So it's in a way. Well, it's simple, but um. Well, you won't hurt it. Okay, so uh, it's this is actually like right? two two steps, right? So yeah. you, you pull it out. So and be like careful this, when you uh, you pull it out like about this. the position of the yeah. armor, the the shoulder armor. Oh, this place. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So when when you want to uh, put the arms like this, you have to position it okay. in the right pit, right position. And yeah, I think that's the. Oh, I see. So maximum. this may not. This may be in the way. Yeah. Okay. No, I think this the, mm. the the highest you can get is like this. Okay. Yeah, you can't go further. If you want to go further, okay. you will have to do this. Yeah. Is this a new joint design or have you seen this in, in other uh, Mark, Mark, Six. Mark Six. Oh Mark Six. Yeah, okay. Mark Six. I think Mark Six and Mark Four they're almost the same, right? Yeah. It's just yeah. a color and just, uh, some details. The chest play. Like this one is wrong and the other one is it's a, a triangle, triangle yeah, yeah. And then everything else is almost the same yeah. Except for the maybe the color I think that one has more gold in the, in the thigh area So I think uh, many of us prefer Mark IV Because the only red and gold is a more traditional Iron Man Yeah, color. Mark IV is very popular And I was wondering why Because in the movie, it's not like a, a final version of mm. um, What about Mark armor? III? You don't like Mark III? I love Mark III. It's like the first the, Iron the Man. first red and gold yeah. Iron Man, yeah. I, but Hot Toys failed to <laughs> deliver. Yeah. So So this is like the second best choice. The Mark IV. True. So how about the other uh okay here the side skirts are uh just like the other die casts. These are made of ABS now. 
yeah. they don't use the the PVC uh, parts anymore. anymore because over time, red paint over PVC you just turn to pink. Yeah, and I hope this will last longer. And it looks like you know they they did some research and it should last longer. And this is not movie accurate. This is their interpretation that the the side skirt flipped out like this. Yeah, because in yeah. the movie it's not logical. Yeah, actually. And it's all CG anyway. There's no there's no physical uh, form of, of the armor. Yeah. All the pictures I saw with Tony, he's wearing just one piece of armor here and there, and everything else is just CG. Yeah, yeah, of course. And the hip, uh, the flare, it doesn't come out anymore. It the old one you could somehow turn this and Ooh. then there there are some springs inside and this thing pops out right, and this one is just uh, there's nothing one piece yeah it's it's being glued on to the to the hips and it does nothing it's kind of pity right? yeah, and the thigh it turns a little bit, not even ninety degrees just a little bit, and the uh, knees are double joint as expected. Yeah, good enough. Yeah. Oh, there's there's a spring springing part right here. Steps back and it looks it feels like this part is die cast, right? I've been told that um the gold paint actually is three times more expensive than the red paint or regular colors. Mm. The, the, the on this paint. one or on the Mark Forty Five. Um, I was told that the one on Mark Forty Five, the gold, it has oh, real gold in it. That's why it's no more way. expensive. And really? they stop using it after just after one figure. On Forty Six, they they the color change. Oh. Yeah. I I was told that yeah. And I think on here the ankle you can pull it out right. Yeah. And then on the waist. You can also pull, and it's also very tight. But actually, it doesn't do much. Well, it helps a little bit when you yeah. move forward. You see the abs, they're kind of stick. Okay. Oh, and then uh, uh, the gimmicks, right? Okay. See all the. The fins and all the. Yeah. I've been told that there were there was a problem with the Mark Six, uh, oh. in at this part, and they improved it. Where? Um. They said that with the Mark Six, hmm. this wing keep falling down. Can oh, it's too loose. It, yeah. Something okay. like that, and so they have to redo the the mold or something. Hmm. Yeah. But tell you what, I, I have the uh, the Battle Damage Mark III, uh -huh. the plastic one. Yeah. And they used to have like photo edge parts. Yeah, and on, the, on the fins, right? So yeah. this is actually less detailed than the old one, yeah. as far as I can remember, especially here. And then there's some, some parts missing here as well. Yeah. But other than that, I think this is more durable and, and it's easier to to play with. You yeah. know, nothing would lo get loose and nothing comes out. Well, it's still beautiful, right? Look at the details under under these wings. These are magnets, so you can just flip them out. And then replace them with these. Oh, it's so much easier than the, than the old plastic ones. But I remember on those you have to open the, the hatch yeah. forward and then and then the, the missile comes out. It's it's built in. But it's more movie accurate, yeah, right? It is. Yeah. As a old show cooking toys lover, you like those things built in. Okay, so we switch out all the parts uh, in the forearm for the for attack mode. Yeah, but we still the helmet. Because <laughs> <laughs> we got lazy, we want to show the head skull. And I believe this is not brand new, the head skull. Yeah, it's reduced. It's probably yeah. recycled from yeah. an older release. On the forearm, there are actually window 
that you can see there's the blue, blue light, light yeah, yeah the blue light coming out this is a new design right um, compared to the other I've been told that it's an idea from the one fourth thicker of okay. Iron Man yeah so they keep it uh, downsize it to one sixth okay but it's this feature Moving. being used in Mark 6 the Mark 6 yeah. die cast yeah oh, okay. also right. so if you have the Mark 6 you probably have seen this before mm. So I don't know what you guys think. I think it's still quite neat, and uh, Hot Toys Iron Man are still one of the be best toys that you can have in in a year. I mean, all the perfect coloring, the mm. and I I like what they do with the weathering paint uh, paint job also. It's just yeah, it's not too much. It's just the, the right amount of yeah. weathering, not the, overdoing it. Yeah, yeah, and of course it's die cast you don't see a lot of one six scale die cast figures out there and you can definitely feel the weight if you like true holding figures uh, you will probably love it and the paint job is like like you said it's yeah. awesome this is why hot toys boss is driving expensive cars and <laughs> this is like the 2045 Iron Man that we are having <laughs> and it's still a long way to go well you guys ask for it and then yeah, you know, people still buying it when they make the plastic one you guys keep complaining it's plastic it's not heavy enough and this and that and then okay now they give you die cast but you have to buy from Mark 1 again you know Mark probably Mark 1 to Mark 7 they're gonna release all the all seven figures and yeah. I, I think a lot of collectors feel like they are, they have to buy it. You have to you have to have <laughs> at least the the first to the seventh. Mm. I I think um the the first one is still missing, right? People may be still expecting the the first Iron Man, Iron Man Mark One, Mark One, yeah, to release a diecast format, a, a diecast. Well, if you do version. all all of them, pretty much, then yeah, they they yeah. should also do one. Uh, for for me myself, I think. One to seven is classic. Yeah. But from forty five on you really see the new like muscular, like the bionic look. Uh it's going to a different direction. But if, I, I if, like what they do in I mean in the, the spirit of it, like yeah. in the movie. This is like how Tony Stark as a person, as a scientist evolve, yeah. evolved, yeah. So it's a very good thinking and even uh logical in mm -hmm. a way that he's well, the best brain on earth so yeah well it, it went a long way from you know 2008 2010 when he sued up he still need this huge thing or the gantry yeah and and now this it's just year a, you just press a button right <laughs> now he's just That's, Ultraman yeah <laughs> transform <laughs> and then you know he's Iron Man so I don't know but this is this is almost 10 years old but it's still classic and you know if you're a collector you still appreciate what happened over the years uh, for myself I don't think I have to buy all of them but I would like to have at least one or two of them for the technology and the design and the brand Iron Man and Tony Stark of course the face of Marvel MCU so it's, it's significant yeah. yeah I agree so um, oh, we missed a part right here yeah, yeah. And the, the glasses, cast, yeah, it opens. Well, let us, let the glasses, put, right? Put on shades. Put the glasses on. Such a iconic scene. With the donut. Yeah. And you know the donut shop is real, right? Yeah. Randy's oh. donut. It's it's in L. A. So if any of you guys are happen to be in L. A., make sure you drive by that donut shop. It's called Randy's. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, that's about it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.